Welcome to day 529 of our Web3 journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here, my twin brother Brian. And remember, these videos are being sponsored by NFT Tech. They are an investor in DeSoFi, the Web3 mobile app built on the DeSo blockchain. So, Brian, what's going on with crypto in Russia? Yeah, thanks to DeSo user Aguam Palm for posting about this. But Russia is about to legalize international crypto payments. Uh, the Bank of Russia agreed reportedly to legalize crypto for cross-border payments. Uh, it should happen soon. Uh, nothing is official yet, but uh, the Bank of Russia admitted uh, that cross-border payments in crypto are inevitable in the current geopolitical conditions. And obviously those geopolitical conditions are sanctions levied against Russia by, by the West by the United States, by Europe, by other countries. And it's making trade difficult uh, between Russia and other countries because it's pretty much illegal to trade with Russia in many countries right now, rightfully so in my opinion. But uh, the Western economic sanctions uh, following the invasion has definitely put a hurting on Russia. Uh, one thing that the Bank of Russia has said is that they are not making legal the uh, transfer of crypto within their borders. So it's, it's kind of interesting. So you're allowed to trade with crypto with other nations, but you can't trade with crypto within the nation of Russia, which, which is kind of a, a double-edged sword or kind of, kind of hypocritical because why are you allowing one but not the other? Obviously, crypto is working. You wouldn't be using it for international trade. So why not allow it within the country? I, I think they it's kind of the control. Of that's why. Yeah, it's all about exactly. Control. So, yes. Yeah, so, and we saw crypto pop a little bit last night. I don't know if it has to do with that. I think it has more to do with the U.S. markets are, are rising in pre-market today. And it looks like it's they're going to start out in the green. Yeah, so let's move on to DSO. And, and one thing I think we should need to talk about is the friction. And we hear the word friction a lot, especially for new companies that are coming up and they want to like bring a bunch of people on board. There's still some friction issues with DSO, I think, most notably through the sign up process. So the other day I just went and tested the sign up process. I wanted to see like how it differed from when I first signed up. And really, it's not too much easier. So now to sign up to DSO, you go to DSO.org or you go to a Diamond app and you create an account. But in order to create a username or to do any, take any actions on the platform, you need money. You need at least a few cents, right? But you don't get that money unless you give your phone number. When you sign up, you have two options in order to get DSO. Number one, you give your phone number, which I think a lot of people in crypto just don't want to do, right? You know. Crypto, the whole thing about blockchain and crypto is about the ability to be anonymous or the ability to be super secure with what you're doing. And giving away your phone number isn't exactly in line with that, I don't think. The other option is to deposit DSO through Coinbase or have someone send you DSO that's already on DSO. And again, if you're a new user signing up, maybe you're not really that much into crypto. Maybe you are, but you don't have you don't want to bother with Coinbase or you don't have a Coinbase account. How do you, how do you get that money? You had to give your phone number. So you have two options, phone number or send it through Coinbase or you have to know somebody on DSO. And for a lot of people, I don't think that's going to be an answer. I think it's going to be people who want to sign up, want to check it out, but they don't want to have to jump through hoops. They don't want to give their phone number and verify their phone number. Or maybe you, people want multiple accounts and then, you know, you, it's going to be hard to do that if you want to have, if you had to verify your phone number. So I, I think there needs to be an easier way. I don't know what the solution is because it is a difficult one. Perhaps maybe a small amount goes to all new accounts, like maybe three cents. You get three cents when you sign up, but then you're going to, you are going to have bots that come in and create hundreds of thousands of accounts just to collect three cents on all those accounts and then send all that money to one wallet and then exit. So there has to be some sort of mechanism in place to prevent against that. What it is, I don't know, but maybe some of the community members watching this video have some ideas. Yeah, and I, I think it's important to have a solution before they start spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on marketing. Because if you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on marketing, you want the best bang for your buck and you want the best conversion ratio as possible. And when you have, when you have this kind of 
friction where you need to buy DSO or get DSO transferred to you, or you need to do a variety of other steps. I think, I think that's going to cut down on the conversion ratio of ad spend to convert to user. So I hope they have something planned for this before their major marketing campaign. I think there's some solutions. I think that nodes themselves like nftz we could start offering i don't know two cents three cents for new accounts and maybe we could verify we could seek to verify those accounts who request it but i yeah, think but that's, if, that's another step though that's another it, nobody's going to want to sign up right. and have to wait to be manually verified before they can create an account or make any posts yeah and i, I mean yeah it, it's it's definitely a tough a tough one and i think that they need to figure this out because otherwise it's just going to be spending bad money uh, on advertising because it's not going to convert. I, I think MetaMask is going to be partially a solution because if you do have a MetaMask wallet, you're probably going to have at least a few cents in your MetaMask and you're going to be able to sign up and just use your Ethereum in order to take actions on the platform, I assume. Um, again, though, everybody doesn't have a MetaMask. Everybody that signs up for a new social media platform isn't going to have a MetaMask. How does NFTZ onboard people who might not be on ethereum you know how, how do we do that in a quick and easy manner where you can just click on sign up for username to quickly mint an nft if you had to give your phone number if you have to find a way to get to get DSO sent to your wallet that's just another step it's going to make onboarding people into individual nodes even more difficult yeah and i maybe natter or someone in the core team could reply and say if they're working on something uh, to make this easier to reduce the friction, I, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. So moving on though, MiniCloud, MiniCloud's an OG NFT series on the DSO blockchain. They have just announced the launch of their first public public test beta for their MiniCloud game. So there's actually a MiniCloud game coming. Um, it's actually has launched in beta. Uh, the first version of this play to earn game is gonna test the game's mechanics and its retention. There's going to be more added features and functionality coming with every new update. There's, there's, going, to be, uh, there's going to be functionality regarding blockchain, a multiplayer mode, play to earn options in the forthcoming updates that I think are going to be really phenomenal, at least from what I've been reading. The idea behind the game is you're going to play, to play you're going to use DSO and you're going to purchase the NFTs, the MiniCloud NFT heroes. Uh, some of you probably already have them. I assume these NFTs are the same ones you're playing with in the game. Uh, you're going to connect your wallet, your DSO wallet to the game, and then use your heroes and build your own territory and collect new soldiers. You're going to be able to earn more NFTs and diamonds by attacking other players, which I think is a really interesting idea. You're going to be able to compete in PvP battles and then win prizes based on the leaderboard. So if you're high up on the leaderboard, you're going to be able to win prizes, maybe diamonds, maybe NFTs. Uh, you're going to be able to collect and speculate on rare items. Uh, and you're going to be in, able to invest in land that can be used for virtual events in the open world. What do you think about this, Brian? I, I love this. I, I think that we've, we've seen the success of Octoposse a couple weeks ago. And they sold out all, I think, 700 NFTs yeah, or something. Over 1,000 ended up in the total merge thing I saw. Yeah, it's crazy. So, so they had super success. And it's because they gamified it. They made it into a game. And I, I think that in order for a NFT series to really be noticed, I think it needs to have this added utility, uh, especially with all the, the hundreds of thousands of NFTs that are being minted across all the chains. I think you need to stand out. And to stand out, a game is the perfect way to do that, to add utility to the NFT. So you're not only buying the collectible, but you're actually buying something that can be used within the metaverse or within the uh, Web3 environment that you're in. Yeah, and to touch on Octopus, you just mentioned them. They are still allowing for minting and merging, I believe. I'm not 100% sure unless they hit their limit, but I believe that goes until September 8th. But moving on, uh, Hisashi has just completed the mint of phase one of the DSO Kingdom NFTs. These are some NFTs that have kind of gone under the radar. There's only 20 NFTs in this Genesis series of phase one for DSO Kingdom. Uh, several are still available for just three DSO if you're interested. After phase one, there's going to be a much larger release of NFTs. So if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check it out at dsokingdom.nftz.me. 
Yeah, I, I, I love this series. It, it looks amazing. You'll see them on the screen, but uh, we keep seeing really great art coming from the DSO community. And and I, I love what I'm seeing. And I, I love that there's engagement around these pieces as well. Uh, but moving on, Antra. Antra hit a major milestone. Uh, 50,000 users. They hit their 50,000th user. You have your button Amaz around, Brian. What's that? You have your button around. My button, yeah, it's right here. Let me let me celebrate. Congratulations, Michael Mara. And <laughs> oh, I think you you're at. So that's just a little yeah. Sethi button. Uh, but yeah, uh, in honor of the milestone, they're going to be giving away $50 to three individuals uh, to enter the contest. It's pretty simple. All you do is get at least two signups via your uh, Entra referral link, uh, and you'll be entered into winning possibly $50. Uh, but congrats to Michael Mara. I know he's been working so hard on this. Uh, one of the first projects to integrate it onto DSO. They started out off of DSO. They integrated DSO into it. Now you can use DSO. You don't have to use DSO. It's whatever you want to use, but it's a great way to show how DSO can be integrated into third-party apps and systems like Michael Mara has done. Uh, congrats. Yeah, congratulations, Michael Mara and team. Yeah, so the top 10 NFT bidders over the last 24 hours, according to NFTZ, uh, they are as follows. BAFQ, Garbo, Jigglers are coming, Daily Deso Deals, MJL Michael, Pickle Joe, RA3, Kayla Carew, Pro Krusties, and Sarah NFTs. And the top diamond creators over the last 24 hours, these people received the most diamond tips on the DSO blockchain on their posts and their replies. Uh, this list is provided by Altumbase, and they are as follows. Shady Acres, Clout Women Unite, M. Her, Polly Hart, Krasenstein, which is us, Food Curator, Rehan Re, Boops Boutique, J.D. Armstrong, and ZN Mead. Congratulations, everyone. And for today's events, thanks once again to Miss Katie Ann. She's up early, bright and early to give me this list every morning. Uh, the today's events on the DSO blockchain. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time is CryptoFi Weekly with Darian Parrish on Vibe Hut. Uh, always a great room to attend. Darian's an expert in cryptos. Uh, he has some great insight and it takes place on Vibe Hut, which is one of my favorite platforms. Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. DSO Alt Space Metaverse with Daryl Gold, Wildography, Dr. Rob, Mr. Triplet, and more on account.altvr.com forward slash events. And then there's a long number after that won't, I won't read. Uh, you can get all the details and the link directly to that Alt Space Metaverse uh, on Miss Katie Ann's profile. That's 2 p.m. Eastern Time. At 5 p.m. Eastern Time is Talking Tuesdays with One Dolinsky, uh, of course, Chris on Vibe Hut. Uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Time is New Users Welcome and Walkthrough for Entra with Sean Tron. So definitely check out those rooms. Again, go to Miss Katie Ann's profile. You can give her lots of diamonds for these videos, and you can also get the links so you can attend these events. And that's all the news we have for today. I uh, hope everybody has a great, great week. Uh, I think there might be some big things coming this week, either this week or next, uh, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.